Hello everyone, today I've got a bit of an experiment for you. Now, as you may know, we've been covering, uh, ignore the RuneScape notifications going on. Uh, as you may know, we've been covering uh, ChatGPT recently, and today I uh, was told by one of my friends that there is actually a open access now for the Bing AI, so I decided to give that a try. And so far, uh, pros and cons, I'd say it has access to up-to-date information and it does cite its sources, which is nice. So that's a pro. The con is it seems to be more subjective uh, or more more likely to be subjected to the uh, downsides of being a search engine. So when you prompt it for information, uh, like let's say, well, first of all, let me show you how to get here. So we come over to uh, open up MS Edge, go to bing.com. That's right, it is still a website. It's not just a meme about, you know, irrelevant search engines. Uh, you can come over here to chat. I hope that comment doesn't like age poorly and, and two years from now, it's like the only AI or the only chat search thing people use. Uh, and once you're here, the uh, the magic sort of starts, you can ask it pretty much anything. It'll respond similarly to how uh, ChatGPT would respond. So I can come over here and I can say, explain how to add usernames in Ruby on Rails. Uh, but um, if you run this, we should hopefully get the same prompt I have over here, but I'm gonna leave this tab open just in case. Uh, so let me actually full screen this. Uh, yeah, so this one actually worked this time, so that's good. Uh, it tells you to generate a username, run a migration, add a before action for the permitted parameters, and then tells you to add the config authentication keys. So this is technically correct, uh, somewhat. Uh, but over here, the first time I ran it, you can see it actually doesn't tell us to create a username. It tells us to create a name of type string. So you're adding a username, but you're calling it name, and then you're adding a column for username. Uh, I don't know why th th or where this disconnect's coming from, but okay, we'll just ignore that. And then just told us to run a migration. So technically also true, um, but I mean, let's be honest, this is not even close to what we thought we would get here, right? Now this one is a little bit closer. It's still not totally correct. Uh, if we come over to chat GPT, this is with the 3.5. So this isn't using GPT-4, uh, even though I asked it to, but whatever. Uh, over here, it actually gives us a full workflow and we can just step through this real quick. Um, but first I do wanna come over here real quick because if you, well, I guess if you click new topic, uh, what you can actually do is say, hey, um, I'm trying to learn Ruby on Rails uh, 7 any chance you can uh, uh, link me some good YouTube videos for this. So one of the interesting things that uh, Bing has here, because it's able to just access the internet, it's pulled results from like Reddit, it's pulled results from uh, YouTube, and you can even see here, it's pulling like videos that I've posted. And some of these, uh, like this one right here, or this one right here was like three months ago, right? So these are really recent results. The downside is if you ask it a specific question, you do have to remember it's it's just functioning as like a, a search engine aggregator, right? So let's say, for example, you come in here and you say, um, uh, I'm trying to, uh, let's say, I'm trying to, uh, learn Ruby on Rails 7. I need to add usernames to a device user. Can you link me some YouTube tutorials? Something like that. And it, hopefully it gives me a response similar to what I got earlier. But what it tends to do is it just pulls whatever YouTube is promoting. And YouTube's not necessarily going to promote the most relevant stuff. Uh, like right here, it's linking my user account roles, which yeah, sure, it, it covers device, but, and I mean, it's a good tutorial, but it's not about adding uh, usernames, right? And here it says, you know, videos of add usernames to device, but this is clearly for user account roles and not for usernames. And that's probably because of how YouTube shows these results if you were to search for these tutorials, which isn't great. Uh, but you can see how this is like subjected to the same thing as going to Bing and doing something like uh, devise username YouTube tutorials or something. And uh, I mean, here it actually goes to the right thing. But even here, it's like pulling that same users, moderators, admins, account roles video, right? So that's one thing to be aware of. Now, in terms of what like uh, what Bing does for this this prompt here for uh, explaining how to add usernames in Rails 7, uh, the Bing version is not even close. The 
chat GPT one is kind of close. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say Rails new video. Uh, wait, do I already have one? Uh, no. So we're going to say Rails new video and we'll just uh, CD into that video and then we'll run a code dot so that we can do all of that at once. So the Bing it, stuff is great. Uh, but you do have to be wary of the fact that like, again, it, it's very tempting to treat this as if it's like the AI that we have become accustomed to through like pop culture. Uh, but in actuality, it's still, you know, just a, a, a trying its best at, predict, at predicting what you'd want. Uh, and in the case of this one, it's actually just trying to like parse through search results. Uh, and we've all been there, right? You go through like 20 different tutorials before you find like the one that actually helps you. So real quick, we're just gonna try out the ChatGPT uh, username tutorial here, just because um, it's not totally correct, but it's still pretty close. And I, I always like you know taking a look at these. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll start with a uh, bundle add device because we have to add device to this. We can then run a Rails G device colon install command, uh, and then we can do a Rails G device user command. So I'll just hit F11 so you can actually read that. Uh, again, I'm just concatenating these commands. So this will just run both of these, generate the stuff, and then create our user model. Okay, so that's that. Now let's step through this. We can just click copy and paste on some of these. So these two work. That'll add our usernames. It'll make sure they are unique. Uh, and then for the authentication keys here, this is where it deviates a little bit from the tutorial uh, that is available on the device GitHub page, I think. And the fact that I have that memorized brings me so much pain. Uh, but every time I've covered this before, I'm pretty sure it wants you to use like colon login if you want to be able to use your username or emails. And there's a couple extra steps. But in this case, I guess this is fine. So let's come into our config initializers device.rb. We can actually search for authentication keys probably. Yeah, right here. And then we can hit control and question mark to uncomment this and change this to a username. So this will match what is in here. Um, it doesn't tell you to uncomment this. Uh, so that's not great, but you know, at some point you do have to use your brain a little bit. It then wants you to generate the device views. So we run that command. Then it wants you to edit the uh, registration and the session. Uh, so here it is for registrations new and sessions new. It doesn't look like it's letting you edit your username in registration slash edit. Uh, so that's you know another thing where it could be a little bit better, but again, it's just trying its best. Let's go over to app, dev uh, app views device registrations new. Uh, we're actually going to copy the email one and we're going to paste in the username one. Like control B to hide the side panel. I'll then copy this and I'll paste this in where the username goes just like that. Next, it wants you to do the same thing effectively in the uh, sessions. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, sessions new. So we come over to app views device sessions new dot uh, And here it doesn't really tell you where to put this. Now, you're, of course, not going to be logging in with uh, like having to type both your username and your email. That'd be ridiculous. So my assumption is you replace the uh, email with the username, right? Again, could be better here, uh, but we'll we'll give it a pass. Uh, it should. Uh, well, it's fine. We'll just leave it like this. Next, it wants you to do the strong parameters in your application controller, which you can just copy this, come up to app controllers application controller, hit control enter, and then control V to paste this control S to save it. Uh, and then it tells you, you can add validations to your app models and user.rb. So you come in here, control enter, control backspace, control S and the formatter should clean that up. So that gives us our validation for our username with the presence of true and a unique of true. So that seems fine. Let's go ahead and let's try to run this and see if it actually works. Uh, we do need a pages controller for this. Let's do a Rails G controller pages home. You then come into our config and our routes.rb. And here we can change this to root and the slash to a hash. Uh, and then we want to come into app views pages and the home page. And in here we want to do that check where we see if we're the current user, uh, current user. Then we want to do the uh, username logged in as and then the log out button else. And then it should be a sign in and a sign up button. Now, this is incorrect by Copilot here. Again, all these AIs and uh, it's always something to do. Uh, you do need to include a data because this is rail seven. So you need to say this is a turbo underscore method colon colon delete so that we can uh, actually do this. That should allow you to log out just fine now. So let's come over to uh, our terminal, run a Rails S to start our server, and then type localhost port 3000. 
Okay, so we can click login, it takes us to the login page. This formatting is my fault. Don't blame it on the AI. I just pasted this in without thinking really. Uh, and let's try to sign up. We'll do a Dean at example.com. We'll do a username of Dean, a password of password. We'll hit sign up. Uh, and here we are running into an issue because uh, the email is not permitted. And I'm pretty sure I just copied what was in here. So you have to come into your application controllers, the keys. You want to change this uh, for the uh, sign up. You want to include the email. And for the sign in, I don't think we need, or I guess this is for the account update. So you probably also want to include the email here maybe. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop this, run another Rails S just in case. Come over here and uh, we'll refresh. We'll do Dean at example example.com uh, oops dean and password of password and hopefully that works we should be good logged in as dean inserted this in we actually come over to the home page and i'll just say uh, we also want to do a current user email just to make sure this worked there we go dean at example.com okay so we can click log out that works log in let's try logging in with dean at example.com this should not work Okay, and then if we just change this to Dean and type in password, that does work. So this is pretty close. My character needs to hit a different tree in RuneScape. Uh, this is pretty close. Uh, the Bing one, of course, was uh, not anywhere in the same realm as what ChatGPT gave us. That said, uh, there are cases where this is a lot more useful. But yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, hopefully this was interesting and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.